Hi, I'm Lisa Valenti, registered dietitian with Healthline, and today we're going to chat about a very important essential vitamin, vitamin B12. You may have heard B12 referred to as an energy vitamin or been told to pay attention to it if you're vegan. We're going to learn all about vitamin B12 today, including what it does in your body and which foods deliver the most. Signs of a vitamin B12 deficiency include fatigue, headaches, depressive symptoms, GI issues, trouble concentrating, and muscle cramps. Not getting enough can cause vitamin B12 deficiency anemia, where your body can't make enough red blood cells. If you think you're not getting enough vitamin B12 or you're at higher risk for a deficiency, talk to your doctor about getting your vitamin B12 levels tested and supplementation. Vitamin B12 is a water-soluble vitamin that's required for various functions in the body, including forming healthy red blood cells, synthesizing DNA, and helping with the development and function of our body's central nervous system. It helps support healthy pregnancy, bone health, eye health, and vision, including reducing your risk of age-related macular degeneration along with other B vitamins. Vitamin B12 also plays a role in serotonin and dopamine production, two neurotransmitters that help regulate your mood. And a vitamin B12 deficiency is linked with depression and mental fogginess. As for the energy boosting claims when it comes to this vitamin, they are a little overblown. All the B vitamins play a role in energy production in your body. But the big relationship we see here is that if you're deficient in vitamin B12, you may notice more energy once you supplement or replenish your vitamin B12 levels. You won't feel an immediate energy boost if your levels aren't low to begin with. The recommended intake, or RDA, for vitamin B12 is 2.4 micrograms for adults. You need a little bit more during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Most Americans get enough vitamin B12 in their diet, but some people are at an increased risk for vitamin B12 deficiency. People with certain health conditions like celiac disease and Crohn's disease, vegans or people who don't regularly consume animal products, and people taking certain medications like prescription antacids, chemotherapy medications, or anti-seizure medications are at a higher risk of having low vitamin B12. Older adults also have a harder time absorbing vitamin B12 because as we age, our body's digestive system doesn't produce as much acid, which lowers our ability to absorb the vitamin. You'll also want to add some of these foods that are rich in vitamin B12 to your diet. B12 is found naturally in animal foods like meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. Some foods are also fortified with vitamin B12. First up, beef liver. Three ounces of cooked beef liver delivers almost 3,000% of the daily value of vitamin B12. It's not on top of everyone's favorite food list, but if you enjoy it, eating liver can be a great way to get plenty of vitamin B12 in your diet. Clams. Three ounces of clams without the shells will give you about 700% of the daily value of vitamin B12. You can purchase clams fresh, frozen, or canned and enjoy them in soups, pastas, and appetizer recipes. Fortified nutritional yeast. The amount of B12 will vary by brand and how much they're fortifying, but just a couple tablespoons can deliver anywhere from 200 to 500% of the daily value. Nutritional yeast is a great option for anyone who's plant-based. It's a nice way to add that cheesy flavor to dip sauces and popcorn and get some vitamin B12. Salmon and tuna. If you're a fish fan, you can get about 100% of the daily value in three ounces of salmon or tuna. Most of us don't eat the recommended two servings of seafood per week, so keep a can of salmon or tuna on hand and make salmon cakes or add some tuna to a salad. Beef. Three ounces of cooked ground beef will give you 100% of your daily value of B12. And not just ground beef, all types of cuts have lots of this vitamin. You know what they say, beef, it's what's for dinner when you want to eat some vitamin B12. That's how it goes, right? Milk and yogurt. You'll get about 40 to 50% of the daily value in six ounces of yogurt or eight ounces of milk. Milk also gives you some protein, calcium, and vitamin D. If you don't eat dairy and instead choose alternative milks, many are fortified with vitamin B12, but you'll want to check the labels to see how much you're getting. Fortified breakfast cereals. Depending on the cereal you choose, you can get about 25% of the daily value of vitamin B12. However, check those labels because not all cereals are fortified. I went to my pantry in a very unscientific study and two of the five boxes were fortified. And yes, I have a lot of cereal because mom life. If you don't eat these foods often or are one of those groups at a higher risk of vitamin B12 deficiency, talk to a healthcare practitioner to see about testing your levels and supplements. 
That was a lot on vitamin B12, and I hope you learned something and feel inspired to include some of these foods in your diet. Are there other vitamins or minerals you want to see us do a deep dive into? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more nutrition tips from me and Healthline.